Almost ready to fend for itself. Conservation Minister Eugenie Sage gets a close-up look at a juvenile harst toko eka, or southern brown kiwi, undergoing a welfare check from staff at Orokanui Eco Sanctuary just north of Dunedin. This kiwi creche is part of a wider collaborative dock programme to nurture kiwi from the egg to later release back into the wild. Once we're comfortable that they're eating and have made the transition here quite well, yeah. then what we do is we deconstruct that pen and during the day when they're sleeping oh, yeah, okay. and then they have access to the whole 14 hectare creche. As the chicks at Orokanui creche grow, their food is deliberately cut back to encourage them to forage for themselves. And that's why we give them the health check, because we need to ensure that as we're cutting their food, they're finding yeah, adequate yeah. food elsewhere on yeah. their own. There's only about 500 of these birds in the wild, with chicks and juveniles being vulnerable to predators such as stoats and possums. And Sage says the eco-sanctuary is an example of what the country was like before the ill-considered introduction of predators. I've heard an enormous amount about the sanctuary, and you get out of your vehicle and all you hear are birds. It's a place in Aotearoa, New Zealand, where indigenous nature is being restored and we see what New Zealand was once like. This particular kiwi has already been weaned off his supplementary food diet and he's put on weight and is soon to go to a new home on Rona Island in Lake Manapuri. In Dunedin, the South Today.